and they're from Sweden. Okay, so let's get cracking. Okay, so as Lou would say, welcome everybody. Um, if you're watching on Craft World, if you're watching on Craft Stash, thank you for joining today. I am solo, so I am Lou today. And um, yeah, it's really good fun. So deal of the day, we'll start off with that first of all. Some of you have probably already been on. If you haven't, if you head over to Craft Stash, the deal of the day is the Tonic Studio Essential Stamp Set Autumnal Sprig 2, set of nine, was 13.99 today 6.49 bargain and it is really nice i checked it out myself so that's nice if you like all the leaves and things they're always good for like little fillers and yeah just filling in spaces really so that's always good um karen how hi exciting uh linda love the new collection thank you got the sound now but very quiet i am a little bit away from my phone but it should still be okay you're the first one to mention anything about sound so yeah i'm hoping it's all good Okay, so that's the deal of the day. We also have a new product that has landed at Craft Stash. So there is, I know loads of you love the Paper Boutique. Lots of you use the Paper Boutique with my card styles that I share. The Gnome one, for example, just seems to have gone wild. But they do have, and I'm really interested in these myself, and it's called the Splendor Lux card. You get a pack of 20. There's the mirror or the metal. The mirror is 320 GSM, which is really good. That's really thick. So you could do that, you know, with the card bases and stuff. They're both A4. The metal's 250 GSM. Check them out. They're really, really nice. If you like your mirror card stocks, and the fact that they're A4 is unusual, really, for packs, because usually they come in maybe an 8x8 or more of a square shape rather than the A4 shape. So that's nice. So, yeah, Paper Boutique Splendor Luxe card. You've also got a load of new Paper Mania products, which you always see me share. I bought loads of the Christmas ones last year, and this time they have, for example, there's lots of items, but they've got the Stag Silhouette Pegs. They have the LED lights, which are perfect for adding lights to your cards. So they're wrapped around a green Christmas tree, but you can feed them in. You don't have to keep them on that. You also have gold Jingle Bells, which are really cute. You've got gold berries. Um, mini trees, they're lovely, and I use them sometimes when I'm photographing my makes so whether it be my cards or my gift boxes and there's some wooden sentiment shapes that's just some of them but if you like all those little add-ons and little extra bits then yeah check out all the paper mania items also you've got 20 percent off of paper cuts past collections and you've got the winter cheer edger die the bells are ringing pop-up die and the christmas cottage pop-up die again really really nice so if you like those dies that do it all for you check those out you get 20 percent off past collections and another offer <laughs> it's the silhouette is all back in stock so your silhouette machines you have the silhouette digital cutting tool the cameo 4 plus in the white it's only 42999 was 45999 so you're saving 30 pounds so again if you're looking at maybe investing into a digital cutting machine silhouette is a great brand been around a long time some good savings there and there's also the silhouette digital cutting tool the cameo 4 in white that one is $294.99 from $314.99. So again, you're saving £20 on that one. So some good prices to be had. As always, remember, if you're Craft World Premium members, you will get an extra 10% off of all of what I've just mentioned. And head over to Craft World to find out more about that. But what we all want to know is what I'm doing today, because it's all about me and my new collection. So that's all of that stuff out of the way. I will be mentioning other bits as we go through. Um, there are three competitions today during the live, so we will have we will announce all three winners at the end of the show. Maria is going to send me through who's won at the end. All you need to do is like and comment, and I'd also like you to just pop in the comments what you'd like to see next from Made to Surprise. Is there anything particular that you'd like to see? Uh, pop it in the comments. We do read them. We looked at all the different suggestions for the last lot of animals that you wanted to see so please pop them down and like I said Maria will select three winners and um, I'll show you those prizes later on today. Okay the made to surprise so what we've got for you today as the launch kind of offer is if you purchase any bundle for £35.99 they're the bundle prices you will get a free stencil when I flip my screen I will be able to show you those bundles in more detail all you need to do is add the code POP in capitals and it will automatically add the free stencil to that for you. So I think I'm okay. I'm just literally checking everything there. I've gone over to all of that and then there will be another big competition which I will explain at the end of the live. But what I'm gonna do now is really professionally, I'm gonna put my thumb over my camera and I'm just gonna flip it round and then we can start with some demos, okay? So, one moment.
There we go. I think... Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> this is when it's not not professional looking. Come on, just flip round. Two sex guys. Okay, I'm just trying to rotate it, but it's not letting me. Oh man, it just done this before I went live and now it's not allowing me. See, I've got everything laid out here, but it's all upside down. So I'm just going to try and rotate your phone. You can't turn your phone while recording. Oh no. Okay, um, can I do it that way? Right, we're going to have to... <laughs> this is what you get with me. You don't get all the fancy stuff that Lou does. There we go. It's fine. I've made you a bit dizzy. It's like you've been on a bit of a roller coaster. <laughs> there, we're there, we're there, we're there. It's okay, guys. I know the guys at Craft Stash will be laughing now. Nicola's probably got her hands over her eyes, thinking, what the hell is Sam doing? But we're there, and you're all laughing, and it's fine. I'm showing you how it really is. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. So this is everything here that we have recently just launched. These are the Animal Antics and the Christmas Critters, and that was what we launched three weeks ago. And uh, I'll show you that briefly in a minute. But these are the two bundles. So if you purchase this one here, the Snowman and the Elf, with the outline dies, and then the main mechanism, okay, you will get the stencil for free. So that is your $35.99 bundle. That is your free stencil, and it's the Roof Elements stencil. So, sorry, no, it's not Roof. I don't know why that's got that on the packaging. Anyway, it's your one for to decorate the like the wallpaper and the sprinkles on the uh, cupcake. Because that's the one that this one does here. Your cupcake or your Christmas pudding. Okay. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Thank you, Eileen. Nailed it. <laughs> Sound is much better now as well. I think it, I am much closer to it now, Alison. Maybe I should get a microphone. <laughs> Lou, you're doing it. Hey, Lou. Hope you're enjoying your holiday. <laughs> that is bundle offer number one and then the second one is the Santa and Rudolph with the outline die set and then the main 5x7 chimney and parcel if you buy those three for 35.99 you will get that stencil for free and again all you need to do is add the code pop in capitals and it will automatically add that into the bundle for you okay but all of this is available separately as well so if you are someone that just loves your stamping you like to create cards and color the stamps are all available on their own with the dies you can buy them on their own you can buy this on your own maybe you've got other things that you want to use with it but the offer for the bundles is there as well also you have this stamp set which is your scene builder again this is really nice on its own as well you don't have to you know have it with with the dies and stuff you've got santa's sack you've got some nice sentiments you've got um, elements here to create snow and brick effect that bow I love really enjoy that I love coloring that bow and Rudolph's treats is probably one of my favorite stamps out of everything bizarrely I just love how cute it is and the sleigh there really really sweet and then the paper pad love this paper pad it just works brilliantly and again you would have seen me use it on lots of my samples that I've already made and I'll be using it again today but you get your two stripes there so you get your thick red and green and then you've got your green and red and then you've got these seam ones here um, the rooftop's lovely. This one looks like your northern lights and things like that. So paper pads, bundles, tick. And then these were, if anybody missed the launch three weeks ago, we launched these animals here. So these two sets, Christmas Critters and Animal Antics. Bo Bear, Rudolph, Penelope the Penguin, Eve the Elephant, Marty the Meerkat and Heidi the Hippo. Again, with them, you have matching dies if you would like. So those are those. And again, there's still a bundle offer on this, I think. Yeah, there is. I remember seeing it this morning. And then you have your props, and the props are lovely. If anybody watched her, her Shanda, Leone absolutely adored these. Even after we come off the live, she said she thinks they're just absolutely amazing. And here you get your dies to cut some of those out, and the die to cut some of those ones out. And that's your Christmas photo booth ones, and that's your normal. And again, you'll see these in the samples as I show them throughout the live. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to I'm going to show a few samples for what I'm going to make. But I'm not. I've got 47 samples. I'm not going to go through every one. I'll be showing them all separately on my YouTube channel. So if you're new to this live, uh, new to Craft Stash, if you head over to YouTube after today's live 
to Mixed Up Craft and that's where I will be doing my little launch and showing you every single sample in a bit more detail as well. So yes, that will all be there. Okay, let's get into our first demo. So nine minutes in, I don't think I'm doing too badly. Again, remember to the more you comment and um, make sure you like today's live, then we can choose, you'll have a better chance of winning basically. Right, so first of all, I'm gonna start off with the five by seven. I've got my little demos all set up here and I'm just gonna grab my actual main dies. Let me just grab, I should have brought those a bit closer, but I'm running out of space. So here's the die and the, the stamps as well. I'll bring these all up so they're a bit closer just so you can see. That's all of the prop ones. Um, this one here, there we go. So we've got everything that we need. Um, thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Siobhan. The photo props are brilliant. They are really good. And you can use them on your own, like normal photos. You don't have to use them on these animals and stuff that we've done. You have been busy making stuff. Yes, just a little. <laughs> okay, so I have done all of the die cutting because I didn't want to keep bringing in my die machine and I want to get these three demos done and just be able to interact and chat with you all and stuff. So if you are brand new to today, you haven't seen anything that I've shared or done, Basically, what these cards will do, if I bring in, um, let's start off with this one here. So these are the five by seven. So you've got five by seven or six by six. And here you have the chimney that I've created. And you'll see all the stamps that I've showed you, you know, earlier. You've got your presents and stuff here. And basically you pull the tab and then a different animal person will pop up the top. So this one here is Santa. I love it. I just think it's so much fun. And um, I've done this one on acetate. You can do it on cardstock. And I'm actually going to do today, I'm going to try and do like a North Pole kind of effect. And then it just slides back in. And all the mechanisms are all hidden there as well. So when you open up the card, you've got plenty of room to write your message. And that will fit into a 5x7 envelope. So that's how you can create the chimney effect. And I love the papers there. You can see I've used that kind of corner so you get the even when it's closed it's like he's then flown off he's delivered the presents and now he's, he's off to the next house then you can create a present which is the one I'm going to show you today and it will give you this kind of look here so the papers are quite plain there but then when you lift it you now have the um, snowman popping out there now the snowman and the elf do fit in the present but you have to work them a little bit because obviously they're a bit wider and I'll talk about that more on my YouTube tutorials when I put them up because I'll have a lot more time to go into the detail okay but I love this again I've used presents there from the props um what else is another one I kind of made the chimney into a present effect that one's got the elf popping out I love the expressions on these I think they look super fun another one there that's just with Santa's feet and to give you another idea I made this one and this is coming onto my YouTube very soon um and it's a box card pop-up box card so it folds flat so it will fit into an envelope but I just love, this is using the stencil, so it wraps around the side there. I've just torn some paper just to give a snow effect there. And then there's using the papers, different props, the naughty and nice. They're just brilliant. And then on the back, you've got room there to be able to write a little message and that will fit into an envelope. And I've made the envelope, again, that will all be, that tutorial will be coming very soon on my YouTube channel, but I think it looks great. So it just shows you how you can take those elements from what is a pop-up card into something a little bit different as well. So, like I said, if you are someone that just likes to buy your stamps, you know, you can still create things like this as well. So that was that example. Um, like I said, again, all pretty much the same. Then you've got Father Christmas again with a different setup. And I've got the sleigh there. Um, that's Father Christmas again. I mean, I made during the day on Hachanda, I ended up having nine extra cards because I've done nine more demos. And then there's another present one with Bow Bear that pops out the top of that one. OK, so that's what I'm going to just go through and show you today. But I've used a few different kind of colourways and I'm going to add this circle to the pull up piece. So I just wanted to again give you more examples. So what you want to do, first of all, is die cut the main mechanism die, which is this one here. OK, and I've die cut this in this lovely Christmas red. And what it will give you is a slot here and a slot here. You then want to die cut the mechanism, the pulley piece, which is this one here. Now I've die cut it twice, one in that striped pattern paper and then one in the red. And then just stuck them together using the Kalau glue just to make it nice and strong. Just give that a few minutes to dry. 
and um, it'll just give you a bit more oomph when you you know kind of push it back in all you then want to do is feed it in from the top turn it over and just slide it back out from the bottom like so really really easy now don't worry that there's nothing at the bottom here because what you stick on it will now become your stopper so the thin red tape will be your best friend with these cards let me just grab my one here this is the three mil red liner tape so which is covered in glitter still because my glitter exploded in my suitcase <laughs> on the way to the chando which is quite funny um, thank you everybody, love the elf super cute face, loving the pull out characters, just ordered, can't wait to get it says Pat, love the fold flat box card, yeah it's really nice Elaine, I enjoyed making that one, <laughs> Dion I need it all, so I'm just going to lay a very thin amount, the less tape you have the more of your image will pop out, so and you might find you know when you get this you'll have other things in your stash, you know there's nothing to say that going into spring you could turn the, the the chimney into a box or something maybe ha have a green color you could have a bunny maybe you've got a bunny stamp you could have a bunny popping out or just some bunny's ears you know you can get quite creative with this to so see what you already have as well that will work with this but now you're just going to stick him along the bottom like so and then when you pull that you'll see he's going to pop up um, a bit early but what oh look Karina I'm just reading your message uh, Easter theme for your next product cheeky chickens Rodney the rabbit I like it I love the Rodney okay then you want to die cut you get your square and you get this piece here so I've cut it in the stripe which comes in the paper pad and then I've used this lovely glitter card here now this is the double-sided glitter card by oh gosh I'm gonna uh, first edition is it first edition um, trim, it's trim craft anyway and it is on the craft stash website double sided glitter is amazing and they also do the self adhesive as well so um, yeah head over and have a look at that so now with this one so I've got my foam tape and I just stick it onto a piece of wax paper and then I can cut this now to any width that I want so I just want to I'm just going to cut this in half that'll be enough now I've been sticking it on three sides but the more samples I was making I started to think to myself you don't actually need to run it along the bottom at all because that physically will not go any further it stops there so that will never pop out the bottom so I don't think you need to put anything along there if you want to you can but I don't think you need to so all I'm going to do with this piece is I'm going to run my foam tape now again you don't have to have foam here you could use just normal double-sided tape but having that little bit of dimension will help this slide out a little bit easier glitter is the worst thing to try and remove sticks to everything including skin <laughs> well this is non-shed this glitter car so uh, it should be a bit nicer to use but no I'm, I'm with you with the um with the just loose glitter because it was it you can see it's stuck all on here it's all on the double-sided tape it's terrible just make sure your image can sit within that section okay so I mean if I sit it that way you can see he's going to you know move really nicely in there okay and then I'm just gonna take the backing off of there and then we want to sit this run this along the bottom of the card here make sure you've got an even amount either side here and everything will be concealed okay then I've got this piece here which I've already popped some foam on at the back and this is going to line up with the top here like so and then here's that lovely bow so I coloured this one using the greens and like a limey colour to give it a really nice highlight so I'm just going to add some of my quick, quick grab glue um, let's have a lot of your collection Santa is on his way to call it R. I hope you enjoy it and again they're timeless I mean these mechanism dies you will pull out you know and use different things those stamps you know Rudolph snowman Santa they're, they're never gonna never gonna date so hopefully it's things that you do bring out time and time again and I know there's no craft fairs well there's virtual ones but my glue's a bit stuck there there we go um you know when we do get back into doing our craft fairs and stuff these cards are quick to make so there we go and then this is now going to go onto our card blanks that's a five by seven card blank and then just very very careful with the glue around the mechanism try not to do too much I went a bit heavy there a little bit of air let's just take that away 
think we're okay there. And again, you can use double sided tape if you want. Make sure my card's opening the right way. And then that's going to sit just on there, like so. Now your envelopes are just slightly bigger and that will still fit in. And if you make your own envelopes on the envelope punch board, you always get given an extra quarter of an inch. And that is just under, it's about one eighth of an inch overhang. However, I'm now going to add this. So I am going to make mine bigger. I would just make a custom envelope for this. But I do want this to look a little bit more like a North Pole. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab again some of my glue here. Probably should use red tape, but for the purposes of the demo I'm just going to do it like so now the person I would plan to give this to will know what to do with this card but if you are using maybe not a glitter card just a red you could still stamp the pull and that comes in the stamp set so I've got it here I'm not going to stamp it onto the glitter but it comes in both the stamp sets and it's just there okay so it does give a clear instruction for what they need to do but now I've just done the Santas here so I just stamped one half and then I stamped the other half underneath. So you don't have to have it side by side, you can have them like this. And then again, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue just under there. And I'm gonna feed this one just slightly under that bit there. So it looks like a little tag. In fact, I'm gonna pop a little bit of foam on the back of that, as well as um, sticking it underneath because I think we can have a little bit of dimension to it. So we'll just feed that under there, like so. So it's a little bit different to the other ones that I've done. And then you get the stars that also come in the die set. And I just pop these on some of the double sided. So this is the double sided glitter, sorry. So I'm just gonna fill a few of the spaces here. And um, we're gonna call that card, card done. And another one. And always like to work in threes. We'll do another one just down there. Again, you can do obviously anything you want, but now you pull that one up, you've got Father Christmas and the North Pole. And you could write the North Pole on there, it's just another idea to use the pattern paper as your pulley piece to look like something more festive. So that is the 5 by 7 pull-up or pop-up card. I think it looks lovely. So I hope you like that one. I hope that gives you more inspiration for those of you that have already got it. I know some of you have been already sharing your um, orders on Mixed Up Crafters. <laughs> And um, somebody, Craftstash, was super quick with their delivery because I think you've got it within like two days or something from it going out on the Tuesday, I think it went live. Um, oh yes, I'm up for winning the lottery too, lovely. I think I've commented too much. Oh yeah, it does happen, Benita. I think there's like a, a bot in the chat kind of thing and it, um, it uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, if you do too much, it doesn't like it. Okay, so let's just go back over a few things for anybody new that's joined. So make sure you like and comment so you're in with a chance to win some goodies. There will be three winners announced during this live and then I have another good competition. It's amazing to announce or to tell you about at the end. Um, just go back to a few offers. The deal of the day over on Craft Stash is a Tonic Studio Essential Stamp Set. It's an autumnal sprig two there obviously is a one this is two set of nine it's 13.99 today it's 6.49 it's an absolute bargain and remember if you are a craft world premium member you'll get an extra 10 percent off of any of the deals so it's good to check that out as well so just head over to craft world okay so let's move on now to another demo so i've spoken about the five by seven we're now going to do a gift bag using the six by six so this is the six by six version so i'm just going to pop this to one side and grab my grab my other one here we are here how are we looking for time oh i'm okay so this is your six by six and this will create your pudding or cupcake but you could also do a muffin which is what this is here so again i want to show you other ways by just snipping into little areas and you know you don't have to always just keep it how it is you can change it which is what I want to show you here so we'll start off with how the my original idea was to have it looking and that's this one here so this is your Christmas pudding again using those lovely striped papers and then you pull the top and now we have the elf off and out it just makes me smile every time it's a top folding card and again it just pops down like so so it works really easily but then if you want to change it up a bit 
if I show you this one first so this is the then the topping to turn it into a cupcake and what I've done with this one is I just took in the sides slightly there just to give it more of that kind of cupcake look and then when you pull this one you've got Heidi the hippo that pops out with her unicorn horns or little crown as you do <laughs> again it's just fun these are great cards for any age you know my nan would adore this so it you know yeah I just it's very much my character and I think they've turned out really well but if you just snip off that little point you then get more of a muffin look so with this one here I've made it festive so it's like a Christmas muffin and then Bo Bear pops out with his Christmas hat on <laughs> the cupcake face would look really good crimpled if you yeah and you, if you've got the crimping machines brilliant but also use the use some card cardboard actually rip the top layer of the cardboard out so inside you've got all that crinkled effect and you could use that I mean even if it got a bit squashed in the dye machine it would still look really good actually so try it give it a go so that's Bo Bear and again all the papers are from my range so this is using your party scenes um, which is really nice I know lots of you have that this one here is using that lovely northern lights background and you've got the wonderful snowman that pops out there again I just love his big open arms um, it's just and that sentiment I love you so much is just lovely and then this one here is using that gorgeous seam there as well and then I've just used the mound on its own or just that shape to create this kind of mound so the idea with this one is Penelope is skating on the ice there and I just love all that sparkle and heat embossed these are the snowflakes that also come in the die set again if I just bring it in a bit more here you can see you've got your cherry this will die cut the actual stamped image but you could die cut that on its own on white and then just color the leaves and uh, the, the berries there these are your icicles you've got your cherry this is some more snow or you could use it as some icing underneath the cherry snowflakes there and then like I said you've got your toppings um, again I'm not going to go through too many because a lot of them do repeat kind of what's on them because I've done so many on the the show they're again just using the snow and I sprayed with mica powder this one's lovely Marty well there's the meerkats and then Marty pops out of the top and again I've used the seam papers there and just cut that one to make it look nice and sand so I think there's no other real different ones there no they're all the same so with this one here we're going to add it onto a gift bag because you don't always have to Put them onto a card so if there's people watching who really do make a lot more 3d things then hopefully this will give you some inspiration so i've got here everything that i need and again i've already done most of it so we just need to do a little bit of scoring now i'm going to add this onto my channel so don't worry about the score lines and things now because i just really want to show you how i put it together so i've cut two so I've got one half here of my gift bag and then I've got this one here as well. So I'm just going to cut up this one. And those of you that know how to make your gift bags, you, you know, you'll be able to take away today what I've done and you'll be able to create your own as well. But like I said, it will all be coming very, very soon onto my Mixed Up Craft channel. Okay, so now what I want to do but all this already die cut ready to go is I'm going to just stick these two together Louise yeah you, Louise likes a gift bag <laughs> Louise makes a lot of lovely 3d projects and shares them on the group thank you Tracy I'm not happy with my glue today though everything else seems to be running okay but the glue yeah and you can do that with a lot of them I was trying to think of some other ways with the older um, kind of dies that I've done as well just to make it you know a kinetic gift bag I think that's really fun so I'm just going to stick this one over here I've just done it in plain white so I'm going to add that lovely snow scene paper onto the back so just stick that one and then I'm going to just fold it all over add the glue to this one here like so and then just fold all of that over and I'm going to, the card for the third demo that I'm going to be making is going to match this. So I'm actually going to use this for somebody this Christmas. It's going to be a nice little matching set. Oh, Marsha, sorry. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to just choose the back. It doesn't really matter because they're two, the sides are the same. So I'm just going to use the Kalau for this one. This is going to fit a box of chocolates really nicely. Um, or you could put a nice little 
miniature little drink set in there. It's a nice size gift bag. And again, like I said, this will be shared very soon. Just sticking all of my sides down there. And then that one. Okay, so I've got my gift bag base there. Then what I've gone ahead and done, we're going now to the die. So now I'm just going to treat it as if I'm making a card. So I've die cut the main, oh, the main square one here using this lovely red and polka dot and the snowflakes. And again, it gives you those two slots. You've got one there and one there. So just the same as the five by seven. I've then die cut the mechanism. Again, I've done it twice, stuck them together. So you've got that nice heavier weight there. And um, what weight is the card for the gift bag? That's a 300 GSM white card stock that I'm using, Marie. And we've got a birthday in the house. Uh, oh, Maria, happy birthday for tomorrow. Happy birthday for tomorrow. <laughs> and um, okay, so what again you wanna do is with your mechanism piece, pop it in the top and then thread it through the bottom and then just slide it down. Now with this one here, I'm gonna stamp pull because this one's in white. So I'll just lift it up a little bit there and just pop that one down. Tunnix, Amanda, definitely. In fact, it would, because it's two and a quarter wide. And I think that's exactly what the box is. <laughs> Anybody knew I'm a bit of a Tunnix tea cake fan. <laughs> just slightly obsessed. Okay, so with him, he will fit underneath because I'm not gonna run the tape along the bottom. But you want him on an angle because when he pops up with his big open arms he looks really nice so with this one here i'm going to pop him again grab my very very thin tape thinner the better um, yes it would be actually um is it ida great storage for dies so i'm just going to run that along the bottom there like so take the backing off and then just pop him. Just want to remember that one's going to go there. Just make sure I line this up. You pop him behind there and then just squeeze him down, and you know he's going to fit. Then um, I'm going to use my topping and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So I'm just going to grab my platform here. And I'm going to use the sentiment Merry Christmas Pudding. I'll just lay that in there. So let me grab my one and not the um, <laughs> the brand new one. Where did I put my one down? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Again, this is where I'm possibly too organised that I've actually moved stuff away. Um, I could have sworn I had them all together there. Oh, I know where it is. It's on the floor underneath something else that I've got to show later. Right, so Merry Christmas pudding. Pop that back down there. Just sit that on there. Pick that one up. Okay. And just ink that one. For that one there I used alcohol markers, but I've used coloured pencils on all of the other samples. So I've mixed really, but pr the majority are all using coloured pencils. I just, for me, I find them much easier to use, is what I'm used to. But if you use like a blending solution, that will help as well. Um, hey Kimmy. Okay, so that's my sentiment and then I'm just going to grab some foam to stick this on to the base. So I've cut that using this one here in a brown colour. So I'm just going to again take the backing off there and then lay that one down over the top and then here I'm just going to run some foam tape along both sides. Thank you Anita. And then I'm just going to pop this one up there, and again there. Take the backing off, 
and again make sure that sits along the bottom you've got an equal border like so and then you also get the stamp here ink on me make sure that's nowhere else <laughs> it's always the same isn't it you go to finish a project and then you get black ink on something so I'm just going to pop that one slightly off to the left because you don't want it to kind of get in the way of your image like so now we're going to attach it to the bag and look how nice it looks and then I've cut two pieces for the sides and a piece for the back so we'll do that first of all and this is just going to add lots of strength to the gift bag as well so this can be the back pop that one on there and you could make a gift tag as well using the snowman because the snowman is such a big stamped image you could use him as your gift tag so and then we'll pop this one on the side so yeah it's a really nice way to use your stamps and dies to make nice little matching gift sets and you'll see that with the final card today Do you know what? I'm celebrating the end of my week, considering it's lockdown. I treated myself to a bath bomb and a nice bottle of Prosecco. <laughs> and I'm going to find a movie tonight. And that is how I'm enjoying celebrating my, my week launch. <laughs> Anybody else doing anything fun, considering uh, how everything is right now? That's my uh, the fun that I'm bringing. So again, I'm just going to add my glue. Don't go too close to your mechanism. And now we can sit that one over the top. And then I just need to add my handles. I think that is so cute, absolutely adorable. Okay, then I have, whenever I have fancy bags or if people buy me a present and it's got a bag with these kind of handles, I always keep them. So when Christmas comes, me and my mum are always kind of fighting over all the mess on the floor and saving all the handles and gift wrap and things like that so I've got these ones here but you can just use normal ribbon but I'm just going to use my punch here and I'll use yeah that's the big hole so I'm just gonna do a bit of guesswork here I would usually get my ruler out and measure but I think we'll be okay there so that's that one and then about about there Again, I do have a smaller handheld one, but I gave it to my mum. So I'm just using this massive proper dial, but it still does the job okay. So again, like so. And now, pop that through there. And again. So there you have a beautiful interactive gift bag and I love this. I'm definitely going to be doing this on a lot more of my 3D projects because I think it turns out great. You could have that on the lid of a gift box as well. I think it would be really, really fun. So there, so that's demo number two. How am I doing guys? Are we liking everything so far? Claire says they were meant to be going to Butlins this weekend. Oh. Yeah, lots of things missed now. I've got a few things in December which won't be happening this year. So, but fortunately, they've been rescheduled. Oh, you re reminded me I need to put a crocodile on my Christmas and birthday list. <laughs> it is, Kate. It's rather big. You don't need a big one like that. Not for something like this, anyway. A small handheld will be just fine. You must be a hoot to live with. You're so fun. Oh, thank you, Flo. <laughs> and that's what you use your scrap materials for handles for our new gift boxes. <laughs> that looks amazing. Yeah, really nice. So we have the 5x7 again, just to recap for anybody that's just joining. Really fun. And then we've got this one. So now we're going to finish with another card. And this is not using the mechanism. This is using the shape to create a shaped card which I thought would be nice again make sure you comment and you like um, we've got competitions that are going to be well, winners are going to be chosen at the end of the live and I've got another competition to announce as well 
go over to Craft Stash, check out all the deals that I mentioned at the beginning of the live. You've got the deal of the day. You've got offers on the silhouettes, which are all now back in stock. Craft World Premium members, you also get extra 10% off of everything. So, you know, don't miss, on, miss out on that because it's a great um, kind of thing to have. So head over to Craft World if you're not sure what that's about and you will be able to find everything there about becoming a premium member. There's also 20% off paper cuts, um, all their past collections. And the examples that I gave earlier were the Winter Cheer Edger die, the Bells are Ring-In pop-up die and the Christmas Cottage pop-up die. And um, the Paper Boutique, go and check out that Splendor Lux card because it's lovely and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be adding it to my basket. It's A4 mirror and metal card stock, 320 GSM for the mirror, 250 GSM for the A4, um, for the metal, sorry, which is really good. And also my offer is... If you buy any 35.99 bundle which are at the very top when you click on made to surprise over on craft stash if you buy the 35.99 bundle you will get a free stencil you just need to add pop into the promotional code section and it will automatically then add that for you oh no don't stop could watch you all afternoon oh thank you Anne. right last demo where are we with time oh perfect okay so this one here i'm going to use the christmas pudding because i want it to match the gift bag but I'm also going to make, well, I'm making two cards really. I'm going to make the cupcake as well. So I've done everything already kind of here. Oh no, sorry, I've made the cupcake. I'm going to do the, um, the pudding. So this is the card. So you can just take the shapes and turn it into an adorable little card. And I think these would make great little party invitations as well. So I just think it's a really clever way. It's another use for those dies you don't always have to just use the mechanism you can you know do this as well so you can get two of these shapes from a piece of a4 so this is just a piece of a4 cardstock folded in half i actually scored it at five and uh, seven eighths of an inch which will be halfway then you want to grab this one here now this i am going to die cut now because i want you to see me do it so i'm just going to pop some tape in place so what you want to do is this is the folded side, lay the die down and clip that, that, that kind of cut line there, clip it on the end. You don't want it to go right on the card, we want to keep that attached. So again, if I show you here, see how it's still attached there, that's what you want to keep. So pop that one just on the edge there. So it's literally just kind of made sure it wedges onto the end. And then I'm just going to take that in place there. And just pop another little bit down there and I'm just gonna bring over my machine make sure I don't get any of that damaged okay I can trim that bit off now I just wanted you to see that you can get two from this piece okay and then run that through if you want to put a shim on there you can but it has been cutting through. I've just had a little bit still attached, which I just needed to cut away. Uh, I'm just going to go through. Three times there should be enough. Okay. So now, just take that tape off. Great for table plate, yeah, definitely. It's just that nice size. So now it's cut the top one perfectly, and it's pretty much it's just holding on by like a, a hair. So if you just pop your scissors, oh, <laughs> pop your scissors in there, trying to fight with the cardstock, and I'm I'm hardly cutting. It's literally just following that what is kind of already cut. There we go. So it is doing the two pieces in there. So now we've got our card okay uh, no it's all fixed now Karen thanks to Steve <laughs> Steve's in the chat I think Steve uh, very kindly sent me the little screw that I needed to fix my handle so we're, we're all sorted there okay so that's what you need there then you need to die cut your pudding color or whatever color you're having for the base so you'll see here I've um, used this lovely mint green and I use the zigzag embossing folder from my collection just to give that kind of fun effect really. <laughs> so now I'm going to just add 
this here. And again, lay that one down on top. Oh, I must have made... Oh no, I am making a pudding as well. Do you know, I'm so organised, I forgot what I'm doing. So I have, look what I've done here. And I have another one here. <laughs> so I'm going to have four. So there is the one that I've embossed. So I'm going to stick this one down as well. <laughs> I was thinking then, why have I still got so much stuff left over? So I knew in my head, I thought I'd said I was going to do both of them. Anyway, so there is that one. Oh, that was right, because I'm going to stencil the, the sprinkles, which I've not shown you yet. Um... Terry the tortoise, Clarence the cat. Oh, I like the name Clarence. Loving your demos, great job hosting. Thank you, Rena. <laughs> Pudding looks like an igloo. Yep. Yeah. Well, I done the. I don't know if you saw the uh, penguin skating that I done and move on in an earlier one. But I like the idea. You could have the penguins sat, you know, along this section here. Okay, so I've got my Christmas pudding one. So I'm just going to take the backing off of that one there and just sit that again on the top. And then I have my little berries and holly, which I have already coloured and put some glossy accents on. But now, how quick? I mean, that one is super fast to do. And you've got your card there ready. So there are my two puddings. So I want to work on this one. So I've die cut the topping here of the cupcake. So you should see there you get this plate with those embossed sections, okay? And then I've also done the die cut the cherry, and this is the double sided red glitter. And I've also just stuck a little bit of white card behind this section that it cuts so you get the highlight. So just add a little bit of white paper there, and then I've just put a piece of foam on the back. I've also gone ahead and stamped the happy birthday cupcake, and I've put some foam on the back of that as well. But what I want to do here is I want to use the stencil, which again, where did you put it, Sam? Um, <coughs> Bear with me one moment. Oh, that's my, yeah, that's my one. Okay, so you've got your sprinkles here. Um, I'm just going to get a piece of copy paper and I'm going to do chocolate sprinkles on this one. So you see there, I use the pink sprinkles and then this is white Nouveau drops. I actually I have this as a YouTube tutorial. I've already filmed this, so this will be going up soon as well. But that's white Nouveau that I've used and then I sprinkle glitter over the top. So with this one here, I've got the brown ink and let's just grab a blending brush and we're going to put some chocolate sprinkles on the top of this one. So I'm going to start from the edge here and you would, you know, maybe tap, tack it down so it doesn't move. You'll have a bit more time than what I have, but that's okay. So I think that's all of them. Try not to go into the other part of the stencil, but I will feature that again in future videos. But now you start to get your chocolate sprinkles there, and then you just move it along. You'll be able to piece it in to place. So let's do that one there. So I love the wax paper tip. Yeah, it's a brilliant one, that one, Carolyn. I use that one a lot. Again, probably use a smaller blending brush to get around this, but I don't think oh yeah, I've got a little bit there still. Again, chatting away to myself, forgetting I'm live. <laughs> um, you would mask off the sections you don't need so you don't run the risk of getting it into other areas, but you get the idea. And then I'm just going to piece this one just about there. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to put some pink frosting on this one with the Anubo drops. So actually, I forgot to bring that one over. Let me grab, or I can see that lovely pink that I want to use. So we will use this one here, along with the glitter here as well. <clears throat> um, so there now we've got our chocolate sprinkles. And you'll see how this is going to sit on the top of this card here. So I'll keep the paper actually because I still need that. So let's add some of the Nouveau. Just do a time check. Yeah, I'm okay. So I'm just going to... So you don't always have to do dots with your Nouveau. You can use it as an actual you know, medium and spread it out. So 
And because it's shiny, you know, it looks edible. It makes me hungry. I'm looking forward to a late lunch today with some chocolate cake <laughs> because I've got some left in the fridge. So we're going to do that one. And then I'm just following the embossed line here as well. So nice big thick amount. This will take a little bit of time to dry, but um, yeah, it's all good. So it's looking a bit like a hot mess right now, but once we have the glitter, we just want to kind of hide the sprinkles underneath this part here. But you won't see that in a minute. There we go. And then now we're going to grab some glitter. And this will just kind of show some of that pink. But look at that. Isn't that lovely? Mm -mm -mm. It does make me really want to eat I like a Krispy Kreme donut. Other donuts are available or a yum yum. Okay. Just tidy up my space. And then go back to the base here. Be careful because this is obviously very wet. But I'm just going to add my glue just along the bottom there. Okay, you don't need much. And then bring it down and you'll see the top sides here will sit just within those kind of that shape there. But now I can stick that in place. Grab the cherry and stick that on top of that wet glue there and then I've got my sentiment thank you Simone I'm glad you think so I always like to make sure people can get more than just what the initial dye does out of you know the collections and then the sentiment I'm just popping it yeah I keep it down in the bottom left there I like it slightly off but there you have it so now you've got well I've got two cupcake ones there but if I bring this one in Oh, you have a matching Christmas card and gift bag. And I just think that was a really nice way, you know, something different to do with these dies. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm going to show you a few more samples because we've got a couple of minutes. And um, I imagine in a moment, Maria, oh yeah, she's already sent through the winners for me. So, oh good. Thank you, Maria. I will read those out in a moment. So I just want to show you couple of other things because I know that a lot of you have some of the past dies that I've used so if I just bring in the stamps work really nicely on the slider cards which are available over on craft stash and this is just you know an example here so I've got the snowman and you just pull the top there and then you've got your sentiment revealed I love you so much so just really nice ways to use those stamps on this style card this is using the 5x7 zigzag. I hope your Christmas is super chilled. And that's using Penelope. And you see I've done it in the blue tones. So, you know, it's a little bit more masculine, I guess you could say. And then this one here, we've got Rudolph with a naughty but nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. And then you've got to make sure you put these on straight. Otherwise they catch a little bit, which you can see that one is there. But... Um, also, they haven't travelled brilliantly because they got a bit squashed. This one I love. Adore that one. I love the presents. Love the colours. And you can put stuff here because as long as it's on foam, it can clip underneath. And then the 5 by 7 here using the square. So you've got that Polaroid. I think it looks wonderful. I love his expression. Bow Bear there. And all these photos will go up into my, uh, onto my blog. And they'll also go onto my Facebook album as well. So you'll be able to revert to these again for inspiration. Look at all those props there with Heidi. I think she looks super cute. So it just shows you, you know, how you can use those. And then you've got, again, Santa here. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus is coming to town. Rudolph again. With his treats. Um, and then this was one that I'd done as a demo. Eat, drink and be merry. And this one a few of you would have seen because I shared this one earlier on. So that's again just some examples there. Um, I think I'm I think I might have got enough Christmas cards this year. I think I'm done now. <laughs> and I'm just going to show you quickly a few wiper cards, just so you can see 
how they work with that die as well. So here we've got the meerkats in a birthday card style and your meerkat pops up. <laughs> I never get tired of these ones. You've got Rudolph, pops up, and then Bo Bear. So it's just showing you how these stamped images can work across all of these different cards. Another one there with Penelope and Bo. And again, uh, Sean, if you pop to my YouTube channel, if you click on the colouring playlist, I've got quite a few on there. You got a bit bashed in delivery. Love the meerkat one. I think that works brilliantly. That was one that you would have saw me do on a craft stash live when we launched this. And then I've got Santa and the reindeer from the new stamps there. And this was the one that I done in two minutes <laughs> near the end of one of my shows. It was a very quick card. But again, you get an idea on how you can kind of create that. Now I do have more, but I'm going to kind of stop there. I'm going to announce the winners. So we have. Um, one winner is going to win i just took the stamps from that because that's where i was missing so you get this one and where did i put my stamps where's my stamps Sam? um two secs here we go <laughs> so one winner is going to win the snowman and elf and the the dies you get the whole thing where's me bundle see i'm, I'm not as um I'm not as organised as Louise, as Lou. Um, so here we go. So this is prize number one. And this is going to Marie Hopkins. So congratulations to Marie. I've seen you in chat. I've read out some of your comments. You are winning this one here. And then the other two winners are another one from Facebook. So... This is the other bundle. So the 5x7 chimney and parcel, and you get the stamps and the outline dies. So Dion Penny, congratulations, Dion Penny. You have won this bundle. And then over on Craft World, this is a, so it's your, your username, it's at singleton.t. So at singleton.t, congratulations on Craft World. You two have won this bundle here. All you need to do is contact Craft Stash via their website, um, their Facebook page, Messenger, um, or email, and um, they will get that sent out to you. So congratulations to the winners. But we do have the big, big prize. So you have a chance, head to Craft World, you have a chance to win the full collection of Made to Surprise, and the winner will be announced one week from today. Everything is explained, you'll see it when you go over there. It's the first, whether you go onto the homepage or the inspiration, you'll see the competition there. Head over to Craft World for a chance to win the whole collection. Okay, shall I just quickly flick the camera back round to me? <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. I'm just gonna not make you dizzy, just so I can say goodbye to everybody and thank everybody. Um, I need to keep it that way and oh, hang on hang on hang on hang on <laughs> okay yay there we go i think i i think i mastered it <laughs> i do make myself laugh sometimes um yeah i think i don't know okay i need to get some i need to speak to lou see what that thing is that flicky thing that she does just to yeah flip the screen but anyway Thank you so much. I think I've done everything I needed to do. Remember, there's that bundle offer. So head over to Craft Stash, £35.99 bundle, and you will get the free stencil. Just enter the code POP in capitals and it will be automatically entered. So let me just push that down a little bit. But there you go. So I'm going to say goodbye. Marie is not messaging me anything, so I think I'm good to go. Thank you so much, everybody. It's been a fantastic week. I'm going to take a few days out now. Um, I've got lots of tutorials coming. I need to edit them. They will be up on the channel. So there will be in-depth tutorials showing you the basic mechanisms, how to put those cards together. So anybody that has purchased today, don't worry. It will all be there by the time you get your goodies. Um, oh my God, I'm off to Craft World. Good luck, guys. Thank you for the demo, Sam. Thank you for coming in, June. Thanks, Sam. Brilliant show. Love the demos. Thank you, everybody. Seeing all the hearts. I'll try and go back through and um, read back on some of the comments as well. But thank you so much for all your support. It's just hugely appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm now going <laughs> to go around the side of my phone and, um, and stop the live. 
very, very professional. Bye, everyone.